Today we'll be installing a TR series quiet line aeration system with 10 diffusers and approximately 4,500 feet of tubing. First thing you'll want to do is find a suitable location for the aeration cabinet. Typically you'll want to be on level ground above the high water mark and have easy access to the pond edge and power. Using a level hour pad can make the process much easier. The level hour pad has been designed to provide a level surface for your aeration system. Marker buoys are used to mark diffuser locations. When you're on the water, it can be very difficult to determine where you're at in relation to the aeration system. Using a marker buoy, you can drop it in the lake and come back to shore and make sure that you're in the proper location. This will give you a good bearing when you're on the water and ready to drop your diffusers. You'll want to do as much hookup on shore as you can before you go out on the water. Hooking up the diffuser is very easy. Be sure to use a clamp, press it firmly onto the tubing, and begin to tighten the clamp. You can test if your connection is strong by twisting the tubing. If there's any movement, continue to tighten the clamp. Now you're ready to drop the diffusers in the lake. It's the easiest to pull the tubing from shore. Typically you would take one diffuser at a time and pull the tubing out from shore. You want to go towards your marker buoy and drop your diffuser in place. The diffusers are self riding so you cannot flip them upside down. It's always best to have someone on shore to help feed the tubing to the boat. Using reels of tubing for larger jobs makes the process much faster. A 500 foot reel can be installed in no time using this method. Be sure to wear safety equipment, including a life vest, whenever you're on water. Be sure to pick up marker buoys when you're done. The aeration cabinet already has check valves assembled. All you have to do is hook up your diffuser tubing to the pre-assembled check valves, tighten the clamp, and it's ready to go. When you're all done hooking up all your lines, fill in your trench. Best to have your tubing at 8 to 10 inches below the surface so that it cannot be disturbed from above. With the aeration system all hooked up, it's time to test the aeration system. All quiet line aeration systems come with a programmable digital timer. This can be programmed to run whenever you would like. In a newly installed aeration system, we recommend you run the aeration system 24 hours a day for quite some time. This will ensure there's plenty of oxygen available for fish and aquatic life. When you turn the system on, it will take some time for air to reach the diffusers, so be patient. Once you see bubbles coming up from all of your diffuser locations, you may need to balance them out to ensure that this proper amount of air is going to each diffuser. Typically, the most air will be coming out of your closest and most shallow diffusers. You'll need to balance the system to force air to the deeper, longer diffuser runs. This can be done using the adjustable manifold inside the aeration cabinet. 